I do understand how loyal pageant fans are to every single representative we have to the Miss Universe. I understand that. I do appreciate that. But what I don't appreciate is I feel bad that you focus more on me when you can just block me and not talk about me. But you focus more on posting about me and making me more popular when it's our representative that needs that attention and support. See? See what you did wrong. Well, you still have time to change your tactics. I'm still going to continue and do what I'm supposed to do, which is talk about what this government is doing, what shitheads are doing, what cockroaches need to stop doing. That's my role. Her role is to get you guys that crown so that all of what you're doing now to me should be worth it. Right? <laughs> So the wokes are at it again, hating on the president for saying that a woman can't be president or that a president is not a woman's job. I agree and disagree with you, sir. I agree when you mean Lenny Robredo because yes, she can never be president of the Philippines, not by a long shot. But also I disagree because of two very good reasons. Number one, Jacinda Ardern of New Zealand has proven that she has had her country survive COVID better than any of the other countries governed by men. On the second count of my disagreement with you is the fact that I'm pretty sure you're just being protective of your daughter, Mayor Indai Sara. But damn, she's gonna be the next best president the Philippines deserves. So I guess that's that. For the rest of you, if you really do hate the president, whatever he says will just enrage you even more and you can cut it up in pieces and still, you still hate him. And for the rest of us who support him, we don't care. <laughs> Good morning, Paul.